From when he was young, Professor Edison Crane had proved that he was not a fluke of nature. He just have a curious mind. With him being the most smartest man in the world, also the most successful businessman, his brilliant mind needed to be challenged constantly. For he wasn't content and he enjoys the risk he takes in all aspects of his life. For it stimulates his brain and he believes no challenge is big enough for him to solve. He was the man of every hour. Professor Crane is a winning Nobel Prize scientist, a genius composer, an Olympic athlete, a stuntsman, a geologist, an archaeologist, a surgeon, a language expert, a biochemist, a philanthropist, and even an expert in the occult. He can speak any language from ancient to new, in which made him an important agent for the international government, who call on him to fix and solve problems beyond their control. Professor Crane has an ego which befits his confidence in which he had in himself, which puts James Bond and Indiana Jones to shame. Professor Crane was not your average genius that is fixated on one subject. He was into everything you could imagine. He had the ability to diversify and subdivide his subconsciousness into a thousand compartmentalized version of himself by doing different tasks mentally at a go. At the same time, respond to individuals around him and afar without losing his concentration. His mind is like a super hard drive filled with information. He is nicknamed the human Google. He is a super genius. Apparently, an asteroid is coming towards Earth and he had been asked by the international government to help in averting this problem and he had been wondering if he should blow it up or create a diversion away from Earth. As I said before, Professor Crane loves taking high stake risk and he will do it for nothing. No one knows if he does this as a show off or if he is just on some adrenaline drive for he takes impossible risk. According to the professor, taking this risk stimulates his mind for he finds it difficult to sleep as his brain works 24-7. One lesson the professor learned from his mother was to be curious about everything and he had been living on the curiosity flare all his life. Now some strange occurrence had been taking place in Australia. Some supercars had been materializing from thin air in public places. The strangest phenomenon about these cars is that the cars were not made here on earth and the passengers in the cars were burnt to a crisp with rats in the cars also burnt to a crisp. At first they thought the passengers in the car were aliens but when their body was spliced and dissected they were surprised to find out that they were humans. Professor Crane concluded that the passengers were from a parallel universe like Earth and that the burnt rats were their animal trailing for there is an invasion on the way. In Singapore, in one of his apartments, he got an unwarranted visit from a CIA operative whom tranquilized his bodyguards and calling herself Rachel Stacks, making the professor know that she believes his theory of an invasion from people of the parallel universe, which is a plan of a secret society to bring into fulfillment of a dark hidden prophecy. And that the hidden prophecy is in the Kremlin library and the professor canceled all of his appointments for the week.